Welcome to the Business Report. I'm Andrew Laidley. As the diaspora brainstorm ways to invest in the island, at least one businessman is arguing that a diaspora bond is not the best way to go. More details in this report. Jamaicans living overseas have expressed they want to participate more in the local economy. But how? One idea on the table is a diaspora bond. But according to chairman, CEO, and founder of Bloomhole Holdings, that is unlikely to work. Whenever you leave, it don't matter if it's Jamaica, Brazil, Botswana, Malaysia, trust deficit. We don't care which political party is in power. We are not giving you our money to go and invest. Governments really do a good job investing money. So a diaspora bond is not going to work. It only works for Israel. It has never worked for any other country that's tried it. He suggested an alternative. To get the diaspora to invest, we need a private sector-led investment vehicle. Or we need it to be run by someone from the diaspora who comes back to the home country more often than those who left and don't come back in 10, 20 years. Because we need to know who to do business with, who not to do business with. We need to know how things really run down there and how the diaspora knows things differently. We do not think better. We are not better. We are just different. We have different exposure. And some of us in the diaspora need to just zip and not behave like we have all the solutions to Jamaica's problems. He explained that the potential for diaspora investment remains high. Today now, 3.3 billion US dollars a year we send back. That is more capital staying in Jamaica than tourism dollars, because 60% of tourism dollars leave the country. So 4.6 billion tourism dollars come in, 1.8 billion or 1.6 stay in Jamaica, 60% leaves. So the diaspora contributes almost twice as much actual dollars that stay in Jamaica. But there are challenges. There are more than 3 million Jamaicans outside of Jamaica. There are more Jamaicans who live outside the island than on the island. So. We want to invest. The Caribbean diaspora wants to invest down here. But we have some problems. Among the challenges, long wait times and bureaucracy. To this day, I don't understand why it's so complicated for me to open an investment account in Jamaica. You don't want my money? I actually sent that in an email yesterday. I told him, I was like, I'll just open it somewhere else. You clearly don't want my money. I shouldn't have to beg you to take my money to go and invest in the stock market down here. It used to be two letters of reference, five pieces of paperwork, and the wet signature, because we don't accept DocuSign. Now we don't need two letters of reference, thankfully. But we still need five pieces of paperwork. Why, why that makes sense? I get email yesterday, oh, Mr. Mullings, you're opening this new thing. We need an accountant to send a cash flow projections for the next five years. I said, it's a startup. Why would I even pay money to an accountant to the cash flow projections of zero? Might start something, just give me the account, no man, no me start. The Prime Minister, we must move at bolt speed. Are we moving at bolt speed? Because I can open a bank account in 30 minutes in Barbados. 30 minutes to open the bank account. And it will take me three weeks here in Jamaica. Three months, woo! The Bank of Jamaica BOJ is projecting that inflation may temporarily track above its target range of 4 to 6 percent for two to three months, starting in, in August 2024. Now, this is due to ongoing effects of Hurricane Beryl, which significantly impacted agricultural produce in the Breadbasket Parish of St. Elizabeth and other western parishes. The BOJ says this will drive pricing decisions for selected starchy foods and vegetables over the next two to three months. Meanwhile, the bank says it is still actively assessing this and other influences on the outlook for the consumer price index. Now, inflation is, however, expected to return to the target range towards the end of the year as the agriculture sector rebounds. As at June, the inflation rate stood at 5.4%. Now, the Jamaica Stock Exchange, JSE, has lifted the suspension of trading in the ordinary shares of Iron Rock Insurance Company. Now, this follows Iron Rock's filing of its outstanding 2023 audited and first quarter financial statements on July 22, therefore remedying its breaches of JSE's junior market rules. 
Now, in the meantime, the JSE has taken the decision to immediately suspend trading in the shares of Equity Line Mortgage Investments Corporation due to its continued breach of its main market rule. Relating to audited annual financial statement and arising from the withdrawal of its 2023 audited financial statements. And that's your business report. Up next is your market summary. CVM News at 7 continues after the break.